showtime! You know, for a lot of people, they have a lot of complaints about this game. For some people, it's the resin system. For others, it's the spiral abyss. And for a lot of people, I think it's artifact RNG because there's only so many times you can stand getting defense percent on an artifact when all you want is some crit. But the moment you go to the husk domain, all you get is attack percent. And as much as that feeling may make me want to just swan dive into a wood chipper instead, that's not the thing I spend most of my time thinking about. No, 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 no. What I think about and what keeps me up at night more than my crippling insomnia is the fact that every single goddamn girl in this game is forced to wear heels of some kind. I mean, except Diona, whatever the hell you want to call this, but I'm still calling this shit heels. It may be defying gravity, but these feet are still on a slant. And as always, before you start rage typing your um, actually comments in the thing, no, I get they're supposed to look like cat feet and that's Diona's whole thing, but screw it, I'm still counting these as heels. Even Aloy, who doesn't even have them in her original game. At first, it may not look like they gave her heels, but these are heels. They have a sewn in heel right here. And you can even see how the arch of her foot is raised, just eliminating any doubt that these are heels. And while some of the other characters may have more modest heels, and not everyone has insane stilettos like Rosaria, they all still have heels of some kind. It's something I noticed pretty early on, like it just kind of bothered me that every girl in this game was forced to wear heels, because in the beginning, I played a lot of Beto. And I was looking at her and I looked at her feet and I'm like, what the hell kind of self-respecting pirate wears high heels? Like I am certainly no ship expert, but I have been around a fair amount of wood in my life. God, that sounds wrong. But, and I know that knots are pretty common. And if you get your little stiletto heel in those, well, one, your heel's gonna break, and two, that's just, why? Why would you subject yourself to that? I think functionality-wise, she is certainly one of the most egregious and the one that just really makes me go, okay, Mihoyo, you are being ridiculous. That is until we got Inazuma. And with Inazuma, I thought, Maybe, just maybe, we would get some traditional Japanese footwear and they would not f*** it up. Well, <laughs> boy was I wrong as shit because Sarah, what they did to these shoes is an abomination. There is no way on God's green earth is there anyone who should have thought that these shoes were a good idea. These things are so ridiculous that I would have even expected Lady Gaga to turn these things down if someone came to her and was like, oh, I got these for your outfit. Because these things, these shouldn't even count as cultural appropriation. What these are is an act of war on Japan as a nation. And unfortunately, Yoimiya has something like these two. But you know what, we're moving on. One of the first things I do whenever a new character is released or announced is I think maybe, just maybe, this will be the one. The glimmer of hope, the female character that doesn't wear heels. And every time, no, they're always gonna have heels of some kind because that's apparently just their thing. And I kind of gave up on playable characters. If they did that to Sarah's shoes, then clearly nobody is safe. I'm convinced if we got a barefoot character, they would have some kind of prosthetic heel just jammed into the heel of their foot. So with that maybe, just maybe we already have an NPC in the game that has no, just regular shoes, or at least just like very subtle heels. Kind of like a lot of the male characters have. You know, sometimes we get close with characters like Ayaka or Hu Tao, but I'm still heels. So anyway, I started running around Mondstadt at first, looking like, you know, maybe one of these people. Nope. Catherine behind the booth, the the cooks, whatever, they all have heels of some kind. And just think, these poor NPCs have to stand on concrete all day in heels. And I know they're not real and they have no feelings, but you know, from my personal experience, from girls in my life telling me that they would rather walk barefoot through glass than wear high heels for any amount of time, I can only imagine that this is a type of torture that should be covered by the Geneva Convention. But on with the quest. The NPCs, the vendors in Mondstadt, no, they were a dud, they all had heels, but maybe, just maybe, the church. The nuns. You would think they'd be dressed the most modestly of pretty much anyone in this game. Well, as it turns out, despite their praying, God has forsaken them, and not even they have been saved from Yehoyo's wrath. Last chance in Mondstadt, maybe the Knights of Favonius, maybe one of them. I don't think it likely, because even Jean has stilettos, so, you know, lead by example, and that example appears to be suffer at all costs, 
and screw your job. If I was in dire need of rescuing from one of the Knights of Favonius and one of them showed up in stiletto heels, I would just assume that I am going to die. And I wouldn't even pray to Barbados because obviously the nuns, they have proven that that does nothing. I guess that's what you get for praying to a god who's always wasted out of his mind. So I guess just Mondstadt's a dud. So, you know, let's move on to Inazuma. Maybe, maybe someone will have traditional Geta footwear instead of whatever the hell Sarah is calling shoes. And now the answer to that is, is also no, of course not, because all these NPCs pretty much have the same standard footwear. Also, what the hell is this girl doing? Besides her best? I too like for people to clean my windows with their bare hands and just smudge the shit out of it. Even the shrine maidens. They even got the shrine maidens. Is nothing sacred in this world? Because even the kids are subjected to this shit. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I also looked over Liwa and, you know, just more of the same copy pasted stuff. Some of them with the boot heels, some of them with the regular heels. And oh, hey, look, it's Window Smudger's sister. Just rubbing away at a bookshelf. Pretty sure if you owned a storefront and you just saw someone doing this to your wares, you just, you'd call the cops. You wouldn't risk interacting with this person. Why must it be that in Tevat, an unwritten law is clearly that if a woman's feet should run parallel to the ground, she must be put to death. But you know what? Now that I think of it, there's one character model type I have not checked yet, and that's the elderly women, like Madame Ping. Like, surely they would not put an elderly woman in high heels. I could see them giving her, like, the heel boots, although that would look weird as hell, or the regular heels. Surely in retirement, they must be allowed to experience comfort for at least once in their miserable lives. Oh, oh my, oh my god. She actually has almost flat shoes. Either that or I've just been staring at so many heels that even this looks flat. Uh, no, it's definitely smaller than Hu Tao's, but this, this is probably going to be the closest we will ever get unless we get a barefoot character. But as I said, they'll still find a way because clearly they have an obsession. This is really just a silly nitpick. It's just something I like to point out to people because it's it's silly. Why do they why do they all need to wear heels? I I know some girls or just, you know, anyone who wears heels, they find them comfortable. Some do. Most of them think they're an absolute miserable experience, at least from what I've heard. Obviously, I have no experience in the matter. I I've never worn anything remotely close. But from my point of view, it looks uncomfortable as hell. Like, it's just, how is it not painful on the toes to just constantly be angling them down or like crushing them into the tip of a tiny little shoe? But despite however people feel about them, there's no way they can be practical in combat or any kind of active experience. And that is why I always thought this was so ridiculous because we're running around through grass and dirt and sometimes even water and some of these girls have like stilettos on and how ridiculous is that thank you for coming to my ted talk please like comment subscribe or whatever you know if you have something that's always bothered you that is just silly share it in the comments because clearly i like this kind of stuff it doesn't truly bother me it doesn't take away from the experience but it is funny and enjoyable to talk about and share with you guys. And if you'd like to talk about silly, stupid topics like this with me and my community, come join my Discord. Anyway, thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.